<laughs> oh my goodness. I'll bet you a lot of you knew this was coming. Those of you that watched the 8K special that I just put out. Yeah, and uh, Thorsten, if you're, if you're watching right now, did you have this custom made? Because uh, it says U552. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. And these, whatever you call them, uh, are identical to what is on the decal that is going to be going on this on the ship. So uh, I've got to find a place to put this now. And by the way, those of you that are wondering, this is this is a solid steel. And I was thinking that maybe I could mount it. Let's see if I if I put it right here. Does my clock block it? Uh, if I, okay, if I put it like that, I think it just fits. Yeah, I'm, I'm watching it in the in the screen here. So, uh, okay, I think that's where I'm going to put it. Uh, once again, thank you very, very much. You know what? Uh, I, I didn't really show this cup too good last night. You know, when I was manipulating it around in my hand and then I did a digital enlargement to about two and a half times the, the, the regular size. And I noticed when I was editing, I was moving it too quickly and it wasn't real sharp. So maybe what I'll do is I can take one of my my rotating platforms here. How would this work? And I'll put the camera right here and I'll just I'll just slowly rotate it one time. Be this cup is unique. There is no other cup that even comes close to looking like this. <laughs> okay, let's let's just quickly do that and then we're going to get into some soldering and solder up some uh, uh some LEDs. Uh yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about this when we get to it. It seems to me that we had concluded that these little LEDs are extremely tough and clamping them into the alligator clip like this is, is not going to really hurt anything. And it's going to hold it at pretty much the right angle to wrap the wire around the, uh, the uh, terminal there. And this is the wire that we're going to be using. This is the... Uh, I forget which gauge it is. The, the, this is the 34 gauge. Yeah, it's two gauges heavier than the stuff we were using. It should be a lot easier to handle. Now I'll, I'll slip the macro lens on so that you can see what's going on here. And, I, I, and we also concluded that we don't need to scrape the varnish off of the, off of the wire because the heat melts the varnish and allows the copper of the wire to solder to the steel of the of the terminal. Um, at least it worked with the smaller wire, so I'm assuming it's going to work with this. We'll test it out. Now there is one thing that maybe I should be doing here, and that is checking to make sure that this LED does actually work. Uh, because uh, why why if, if there's something wrong with it, 
And I've never had one that didn't. <laughs> but I, I just have this thing about wanting to check first because I don't want to get the wires all soldered on and then find out, well, it doesn't work, no matter what I do. Uh, so just let me get my uh, power supply out here. You know, what I should do is I should get a couple of... Uh, one and a half volt batteries and put them in a battery holder and it would be a lot more convenient but uh, right now I don't have that. I might downstairs in my toolbox. I got a whole bunch of junk like that that I've kept. Okay, that should be enough. 2.87 volts. And Murphy's Law says that there's a 50-50 chance that I'm going to get this wrong. Uh, but then there's a 50-50 chance I'm going to get it right. And let, let's see. I, I don't know which one of these terminals is, is the positive. I might get it right the first time. I might not. Ah, I beat Murphy. Okay. All right, so that one works. Okay, I'm down in the workshop here a few minutes ago, and I'm looking for a two-battery holder. And I had a four-battery holder, a three-battery holder, but no two-battery holder. And then I thought, well, you know what? Why don't I just take two batteries and, and fasten them together? And who's, they don't have to be in a holder. Just tape them up. I've got these, these uh, batteries that came free with a clock movement and uh, I never noticed this before but at least on these Panasonic batteries it seems to have a date on it if I, get, if I hold the light just right this one says 2021 and I'm assuming that means 2021 this one says 2017 well the reason I looked on them is because they're 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 different the one has uh, you know it's got a blue circle around the, the base and the other has a white circle. Um, they're both Panasonic batteries. This one is silver on the top. This one is black on the top. Um, anyway, small things amuse small minds. So uh, what do we got here? Is one going to be dead and the other not? Let's just find out here. Okay, 1.581 volts. That's right up. one point five five eight so this one is a little bit lower than this one by just a minuscule okay so that's going to give us just a little over three volts but you know momentarily these these things are rated for three volts you know so that i don't think you're going to burn it out so let's make up our little handheld tester here and i'm just going to quickly do that off camera uh, because i don't want to bore you with uh soldering stuff together. I've got some wires here that I'm going to use. I've got a plethora of wires and clips and all that kind of stuff. Oh, so I'm down in my workshop and I, uh, I hear, I just nicely get down there and I pull open the drawer of the toolbox where I know I keep this kind of junk and uh, I hear this bark, 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 bark at my front door. So I'm yelling, I'm coming, Missy, I'm coming, Missy. And I can imagine the little tail is just a going like crazy out there because she can hear me inside the house. And I struggle back up the stairs and give her her dog cookie and struggle back down the stairs and finish up. Anyway, another thing I was doing in the, doing in the workshop, I was looking for a brass tube. And I'm sure I've got one somewhere. Uh, this may be only a sixteenth of an inch in diameter. And, and then I realized, well, uh, I, I've got an awful lot of pen parts, and I'm going to try an experiment here uh, for, for winding the, the wire around the uh, terminal because it's kind of hard to hold onto the wire and do it with your fingers. So I'm going to see if I can't just make myself something up out of a, maybe pen parts. I'm just going to use this one as a, uh, you know, as a, as a trial here. It, it should come apart. Okay, so we, if we take this out, uh, it should remove the... I should know how to do this. I mean, I made this thing. <laughs> we'll worry about that later. Okay, let's get our batteries wired together, and then we've got our uh, 
handy dander ta handy dandy tester. Okay, sometimes the simplest solution is the best solution. Now, all being well, we've got uh, three volts going on here. Yep, 3.14 volts. That shouldn't hurt our LEDs. All right, let's uh, try it now and see if it's going to actually work. I'm sure it will. And once again, Murphy's Law, is it going to be for us or against us? I should have paid attention as to which was which. Okay, it won't go that way. Let's turn them around go the other way. Yep. I want to be careful not to let these be touching or I'm going to have two dead batteries. Now, in the back room where I have the Yamato model table and I have this small lathe, I've got a lot of pen parts. And I'm just going to use this one as an experiment here. And this is the thought. What if I took the wire and put it through like this? Okay. Now, somehow I, w I would modify the, the other pen so it be, would be longer. Then we would, we would have this, this wire. I should really maybe get more off here. Just, just let me uh, do this here. Okay, this wire doesn't <clears throat> doesn't tangle near as easily as that very fine wire that we had. That was that fine wire was a waste of money. Okay, so let's do this again here. Now this is the first time I'm trying this. This this may not work, but it's just just an idea. I think it, it's kind of like a, a tool that you can buy, which is way overpriced. Way, I forget what it's called, but it's sort of a wire winding tool here. Do, do you ever notice your fingers don't work as good when you get older? Well, it went through once. Must be doing something wrong here. I'm sure glad I'm not paying for film. Why won't this go? It's catching on something there. Was I just lucky that first time? I don't have all day here. Neither do you. I'm looking down the hole there. I'm not not seeing anything blocking it. Uh, <laughs> There's going to be one of those two-hour videos where nothing happens. Well, the first time I did this, I thought it sounded so good. It, it, it seems so good. Everything was working just fine. Okay, you know what? I'm going to push stop here. Okay, I finally got it. Okay, let's let's recompose here and see if this is going to actually work. Uh, I, I, I wish that it was a little bit longer uh, so I could hold it like a real pen, but uh, uh, we'll stick the macro lens on good old macro lens okay now this this is the idea the idea is that I, I should be able to feed the wire out of the end of the tube like this and hopefully I can use it to wind around the pin now, it doesn't have to go around very many times just, just enough so that it, it will stay there so that when I solder it Okay, now we have to back this off without pulling everything off. Okay, like that. Now, sort of pull this taunt a little bit. Try not to, try not to pull it off of the end. Okay, that, that should, should actually work. Now we should be able to solder that and then, and then we can nip this, this loose wire off later with the, those uh, cutters that uh, 
were very generously sent to me. Okay, that's the plan. Okay, let's get our soldering iron hooked up here. Okay, using one of Gabe's swabs here without the swab. Let's see if I can get some flux on onto this. That should do it. Now what I'm going to try to do is get some solder on the end of the on the end of the tip and just let it flow down. At least that's the plan. Now hopefully that melted the varnish on that. We'll we'll know as soon as we go to test it. It kind of looks like it did when I look in the monitor. Okay, I'm going to do the other one the same way, and then we'll test it out. Oh, by the way, I'm using one of Chris's alligator clips to just sort of hold the other end tight so that it doesn't, doesn't all of a sudden everything pop off on me. Okay, let's see how close we can get here to the end of this without accidentally cutting the wrong thing. Okay, I want to remove this one right here. There we go. That works slick. Now we'll do the other one. And, uh... I might have to swing this around. It's kind of... Yeah, I'm going to have to do this the other one off camera, but I'm going to be doing it exactly the same way. Now, I was going to take my sanding stick and, uh, you know, sand the ends of the wire so that they're bare, so that we'd be able to uh, touch the uh, our bat our testing battery onto it. And then I thought, well, why don't I just, uh, just solder the ends of the wires, you know, put a bead of solder on it, and that's, so that's what I've done here. That seemed to work out pretty good. Now, is Murphy's Law going to be for us or against us here? Okay, I'm going to touch onto the terminals. Are they going to... we're going to get light or not? Yeah. <laughs> not making a very good connection because the the uh, solder is, soldered connection is just sort of rubbing on the alligator clips. And But anyway, we got it. I'm always kind of worried that the the heat is going to maybe uh, you know follow through the the the, uh, uh, the those steel pins that are going into the LED and and ruin the delicate little mechanism that's in there. But uh, they they always seem to uh, stand up pretty good. Okay, I am going to do five more like that now. Our sunrise is happening more and more to the left of the towers all the time. Pretty soon it's going to be on the complete left-hand side of the bridge. Yeah, I guess in about three months we might not even see the bridge in the sunrise. However, Don and Bridget did come by. And at the end of this little segment you're going to see somebody going across the bridge on a bike. Yeah, it makes me think that if I could get over there, I could, I could go out on my e-bike this afternoon. But the front street is still in pretty bad shape. If, if it was to warm up like it did uh, yesterday, well, I'd be able to get out. But, uh, well, we'll see what happens. Okay, I put my pen back together here. And the reason being is I'm using something different now instead of the the end of this pen. And uh, and this is what I'm using. 
I'll uh, put the macro lens on, but you're probably recognizing right away that it's a, a nib for a glue applicator. It, you know, like a syringe, that kind of glue applicator for... Anyway, I've got a whole bunch of these, and I thought this was, this might work better, and it does. I'll, I'll stick the macro lens on and show you. Oh, first of all, I think it was Dutch Dave mentioned that... Uh, that this stands for the the uh, the tide is is high, and this stands for the tide is low. Well, as you can see, uh, the tide has gone out. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Dave, for that info. I I kind of thought that maybe that's what it was, but I wasn't sure. <laughs> yeah, my my mother would be able to tell me she was German. Uh, in fact, my my grandparents came over from Germany. Uh, anyway, enough about that. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh yeah, I was going to stick the macro lens on. <laughs> okay, this seems to work quite a bit better. Uh, you probably heard the clock gonging. What time we got here? It's uh, 2.45 in the afternoon. I was noticing that the streets are half bare right now. So I'm going to see if I can't maybe get out on my e-bike this later this afternoon. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wind her up here. And uh, we'll continue on in the next episode. In the next episode I should have this one, which is number six, finished. And then we'll sort of stick them in the holes and see what we can do. In the meantime, thanks for watching everybody, and all being well, we're going to see you tomorrow.